Hey there with AgriSpray Drones. So you guys have seen the Mavic 3 Multispectral and you've seen how it can actually show you live in DVI imagery, which is a really cool feature. But if you wanna take it a step further, you can actually make this drone with this remote do a mapping mission. So basically where it flies autonomously by itself over the entire field, takes pictures, and then we use another program in the field here to stitch the pictures together and then we use that program to create spot spraying missions or spot spreading missions or variable rate prescriptions. We're going to show you guys that entire process from start to finish and prove to you it is not that difficult that sea and spray technology has hit the drone market. Let's get to it. So to start with, I'll do my screen recording so you guys see what I'm looking at here. Uh, we've got our Mavic booted up, we have our remote booted up, and we're going to hit flight route. And then we're going to hit the plus and create a new route, area route. It's going to zoom into our location here with our GPS on our remote and our drone. And I want to do this field right here. So we're going to create a map. by just tapping on the screen around the area that we wanna that we want to start or we wanna collect imagery on. So that's probably good enough right there. Might drag that point down just a little bit. Drag that one over just a little bit. Um, and there we go, we'll save that. And all looks good there. We're gonna collect just regular RGB or regular visual light uh, regular camera. Uh, we're not going to collect multispectral, although we could do both. We'll just do the regular because we want to do a spot spraying map uh, for weeds. We're going to do, um, and you can, if we go back, you can change your your height, you know, here, and you can change your um, your pixel count. Uh, so right here, you can see our altitude is at 600 feet. We're going to bring that down to we'll do 300 foot out actually we'll do 200 foot altitude that'll give us actually a really really nice map to where we actually have uh 1.7 centimeters per pixel so every pixel will be 1.7 centimeters we'll be able to detect weeds uh with a map like that this is all very customizable we'll run that full speed and looks like that's all we need to do so we're going to go ahead and save this and then from here, we can go ahead and run. So this is called, it just, it auto named it for us. I didn't put a name in there. So our name here is just create area route number three. So we just hit the play button there, make sure everything looks good. Click next, upload flight mission, and then hit start. And our drone's gonna take off. Everything is autonomous from here on out. It's gonna go up in the air, go to the start point, start taking pictures, return back to home to us whenever it's done. So we can go back and sit in our air-conditioned truck and wait for that to happen. We'll come back to you guys whenever this is finished and we'll start the next process. All right, Mavic made it back here. It landed on the hood of the truck by itself. Now we're just going to shut down our remote, shut down our drone, and pull our battery out once it's shut down. Then we can take this card out. It saves all the pictures on the SD card right on the back here. We're gonna take this card, hop in the truck, grab my laptop, and we'll start processing and making our map. Okay, we're back in the truck here. It's uh, a lot nicer in here than it is outside. Uh, have our laptop booted up and we have PIX4D fields pulled up. We love PIX4D when it comes to in-field processing. So here's our card and our card reader plug that into the side of our laptop and we're going to go ahead and make a new project here and we're going to import a folder from our SD card it's going to be under DCIM and then if you just look for the date most recent one down here um, from today that's it select that folder It'll take it a little bit here because it has to basically uh, go through, find all the images uh, and f and make sure that they all have geo tags. Then it's gonna give us some options of you know, which images that we import. So this is gonna take um, what it says about seven minutes here. There's 
over 900 pictures. <laughs> so about seven minutes here to start this process and we'll come back to you guys whenever this part, part's done. All right, so uh, it's done doing the first processing here. You can see in the background, we've got all of our, um, our dots where the pictures were taken at. So we have two options, fast processing or accurate processing. Um, accurate processing can take a while because we have, again, a lot of images on here. So we'll do the fast processing, about 28 minutes. Uh, I'm just going ahead and hit start here. So uh, it is starting to process right now. Um, this is going to take uh, about today, about 20 minutes. Now we flew at 200 foot altitude, which is a really, really um, high resolution image. If we were to fly at 400 foot, that would be uh, less than half of total images. So instead of 20, 20 minutes or 28 minutes, we'd only have about 10 or five minutes worth of processing. Um, but just to show you guys how accurate imagery you can get, that's what we're doing today. So whenever this is done, it's currently stitching the imagery right now. Whenever it's done, uh, then we'll, uh, we'll come back on and we'll show you how to make spot spraying maps. Okay, so our map is now processed. Uh, this took about 20 minutes right here um, to make this image. And what this is basically is this is all 900 plus images that our Mavic 3 uh, multispectral took. And it stitched them all together to make one giant image file that is really, really detailed. So we can zoom in on any area and we can see, okay, there we have a hole and a bunch of holes out here. Actually, a lot of holes out here. Uh, and then we see we have just some discolored plants over here. Um, very, very highly, highly detailed image here. Uh, we can get even more detail than this uh, or less and get a faster map. But from here, what I wanna do is show you some of the spot spraying uh, capabilities um, that Pix4D has using Mavic 3. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our magic tool and we're going to use our ortho mosaic, which is uh, this, you know, image that you're seeing here. And here you can choose a grid size. So what we're going to do is we want to try to find, we're just going to tell it to find anything that looks light in color. So like this area here is kind of lighter in color than this area. Uh, so we want to find all these light colored areas, which should be probably lower health crop, you know, nutrient deficiency um, or drought or something of that nature. Um, so we're going to select our grid size and we'll probably bring this down a little bit to about five feet per grid. We can change our grid orientation if we want to as well. We'll leave it there. And then uh, it'll take just a few seconds for it to kind of process those grids. Um, and then we'll be able to start selecting the areas that we want. All right, so that part's done. And now all we have to do is we can select uh, our wanted attributes. So what we want the uh, computer to find. And we're gonna select these cells here where it's kind of uh, you know, lighter in color. We'll select a couple over here, these lighter colored beans. And then we're gonna click over to our not wanted and we're gonna look for some dark green areas. So here's a few dark green areas here. And there you see, as we keep selecting these darker green areas, as our not wanted attributes, and everything that is lighter color is showing up. There you see. And we can go back to our wanted attributes, and there you see there's some lighter color there. We'll select that. And so it looks for grids that are the same pixel pattern and color, and it starts marking them out. So there you see there's kind of our areas of our field that may not be, uh, that may be poorer health. So we'll call that good. We can get more and more detailed here. This would be like a spot spraying map, essentially. Uh, then we'll go into our cleanup. From here, we can, you know, we can add or delete. We can make a spat, you know, a spot here and there, uh, or we can delete spots too, um, or we can make our minimum grill, grid size, you know, higher or lower, uh, just like that. So we'll do something like that. That looks fine. Give it a name. and convert. There you go. So now what we have is we've got uh, a bunch of individual boundary files. Now we can export these boundary files just by going to export and annotations. And that's our demo layer there. Export as a shape file. Okay, now from here, we can actually make a prescription spring operation. So before we do that, we need to add a boundary. 
that we want the drone or whatever, you know, tractor, whatever to fly in or spray in. And so we'll just make a real quick boundary here around some of this area. That's good enough. The check mark. So now that we have our boundary, we can exit out of that, go into operation, targeted operation, uh, select the boundary that we want to use. Give it a second to process. Okay, that part's done, and we're going to want to use our existing layer that we made with the magic tool. So we're going to hit this, use existing layers, um, and we'll name this one Demo. Hit Continue, and there it brings in our layers here uh, from our, our magic tool, finding those you know thin spots of soybeans. We want to use gallons per acre. Of course, you can do pounds if you're doing um, a seeding or a, a fertilizer application for, um, uh, for like a rescue treatment. And then you can again select a grid size. And this grid size here is the grid size that it will use for the actual uh, areas for spraying. Uh, we'll leave it at three foot. That's fine. And there you see it cuts it off along that boundary there. So it's only going to be making a prescription for what's inside the boundary. And if you wanted to, you could actually, um, you know, go back to our your step four. Um, and if you had multiple areas that, you know, magic tool um, where you did one area that was like weeds and one area that was like ground out spots and one area that was this or that. You could do multiple layers of these individual boundaries. And then as we go into our operation layer, you could actually do multiple um, rates. So right now we just have one rate. We have one of these purple areas right here. Those are the only areas that are going to get sprayed within this boundary. And so we just tell, tell the system we want to spray those at five gallons per acre, not 55, five gallons per acre. And um, then it tells us it's probably going to use about you know 11 uh, gallons worth. But we could have multiple zones here uh, if we had multiple different annotations or different uh, you know uh, layers. Um, but we don't. This is just a simple on-off. Spray these areas. And don't spray these areas. That's all we're doing here. And uh, that's it. Our that's it's it's made. This is done. So we just have to export our operation as the DJI Agris T-Series, the VRA mission. Hit continue. That doesn't matter, you'll change that in the remote. Hit continue there. One last chance to change your volume. We're gonna leave it and export. All right, that's it, prescription's made. It is on the card right now. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just eject this card out of our computer. Good to go there. Pull it out. All we need is this little micro SD card, and that goes in our remote. This will work for your T25, your T20, uh, or T50, your T20P, and your T40. All the same thing, right up here in that micro SD card slot. There we go. Push that all the way down and close that back up. There you can see we already have uh, our SD card uh, notification up there in the top right. So we'll click on that. And under this SD card, you can see we have our task, our unnamed area, which is our boundary, right, for this prescription that we want to do. So we can just go ahead and bring that in. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll bring that in by itself first. So we're going to import that. That's successful. And then our prescription is next. So hit prescription map. This unnamed project would be the uh, prescription that we just made. We're going to hit import. We want to bring this in. It's very important here. Go to other, click HA, that's Hector, uh, and then bring this in as the average value. And then click yes, import successfully, exit out of that, go into begin. No more and there you go, there's, there's our boundary. Click on that. That pulls our boundary up and then now we click on this little plus folder and now we can see our prescription maps there's our project right there click yes and there you can see it shows us exactly uh, that the task area is the you know the whole area uh, that we're gonna be flying 
but the sprayed amount is just going to be those purple areas uh, that we want to spray. That's it. We can change, of course, you can go in and we can edit and we can change our route and which direction we're going to start flying from. Um, we can change our uh, spacing. So we're actually going to do that right now. We'll go 26 feet. Um, we can do all sorts of stuff here, just like you do with regular, you know, boundary creation, regular flight route creation, all the same here. Um, and then we're just going to save that. So the only thing that the prescription does is control your rate. Because whenever we hit use, notice how on the left hand side here, we don't have application rate because the rate is being controlled by the prescription here. It knows we want to do five gallons per acre across this area. And so it knows that it's going to you know, use six gallons to do so. So what we can control is our droplet size, which I'll make that a little bit finer so we can see it out there whenever we go to spring flight speed we're going to crank that up all the way as we fast as we can and our height we'll go to 10 feet there we go now we're going to go ahead and put some uh, liquid in the drone and start spraying our drone's filled up now if you're doing spot spraying or prescription spraying with the agris t50 uh, or t40 and you're not going to be spraying the entire time the drone's flying it's best to make sure that you only have about you know five, six, seven gallons in the tank uh, because it's going to be going through battery life a lot quicker with a full tank. Um, so we've got five gallons in there and we're going to do our prescription uh, spraying first. So that on off prescription. And first thing we do is we come in here, zoom into our area just like we are. We select our entire field boundary uh, that we've made uh, on PIX4D right there. And then we select our prescription um, by clicking on that little plus icon with the folder click on our project, click yes, and then there if we zoom in, you can see the spots in purple that it's going to be spraying. Um, and our start point looks good. We're gonna check our parameters real quick after we hit use. We'll change our height to 10 feet. Change our route spacing up a little bit. And everything else looks pretty good there. Um, now we're doing you guys noticed we're using the T50 with a four nozzle configuration. So our flow rate can go up to 6.4 gallons per minute. And we've basically maxed out our flow rate there. We're good to take off. So this is just like normal. Drone's gonna go to the start point. It's gonna lower down to 10 feet. Just like that, that's height that we set. And it's going to start spraying whenever it hits this purple area, which is right about now. There you go. So on the screen there, you can see it's flying over that purple area. That's the area that we mapped that had the, uh, the quote unquote weeds uh, or whatever uh, we wanted it to, uh, to target. Shut off whenever it turns, just like normal. And the lines here are yellow still, even right there where it's not spraying. They're yellow, but it paints those lines white because it's not spraying it. And there it turns on just like that. Phenomenal. And then it just it did a split second turn off and turn back on. That's perfect. With this four nozzle configuration on the T40, you get a really, really nice pattern, uh, even at lower speeds and lower heights. Because coming up the hill, we kind of, we lost our altitude just a little bit. We still had a really, really nice pattern. Now, one of the issues with when you're doing spot spraying like this using a prescription is notice here where the drone's just flying over an area that is, uh, that is not purple. As it turns around, it's going to be coming back up the hill, and there's no purple in that area. There is no uh, rate for that area, but it's still going to fly through that area because it's mapped in here. So one thing we could have done is right there in this area uh, that's on the screen there, we could have actually... Uh, mark that out as a, as a non-spray area in our, uh, on our remote, on our software, and it would have just skipped right over that entire area without even flying it. So there's some stuff you can do to improve efficiency, but by and large, uh, it is, it's, a, it's a platform set up to do not only spot spraying like this, but actually vary the rate as it travels across. Increase the rate here, in, decrease the rate here, not spray there. Very, very customizable with the PIX4D platform and with a prescription map. Uh, in the T50, T25, T40, or even T20P. What we're going to do now is I'm going to stop this uh, midfield. Just going to hit the pause real quick. Uh, end this operation. 
the sable real quick. We're gonna get rid of those spray lines. And I'm gonna show you that multi-area spraying. Uh, so on the screen here, you can see we have all these little demo fields. Those are the, those are the spots that, that we saw uh, we're using our magic tool. So I'm gonna select a few of those spots in succession. So I'll select that one first. Uh, we'll come over here, we'll hit this little spot right there. And one more, we'll get this big area right there. And so there you see, it actually builds out all of our, uh, our flight route for us, even going different directions, uh, each of those flight routes. And then we just hit use, continue. And then we see we have uh, one, two, and three areas. So we can give each area a separate rate. Or if you have a template in here, you can actually just hit that template. Um, I'll make one real quick. We'll do five gallons. Uh, we'll do a flight speed of 20 feet per second. Uh, height above crops, we'll do 10. Um, and 32 foot route spacing. And then save as demo one template, that's fine. Then we can just select our demo one template on each of these three areas and hit start. There you can see in our uh, operation area two, we actually have a very small area. So we have to do, do is hit operation area two and then we need to be changing our route spacing in that one area. So I'm gonna do that real quick. By reselecting everything, hit use, hit continue, and then we can select our rates and now change our route spacing in that just that one area there we'll put 10 feet and there you see it puts one little flight right there uh, everything else should be good to go slide to take off now the drone's going to go to work and if you follow it on the map here you can see the drone's actually going to show you exactly where it's going to fly so it's going to hit this one area one strip right there just one pass right down the middle there it goes five gallon rate just like we wanted It's gonna to get to the end of that one area, get to the stop point, turn the sprayer off, and then it's gonna go up to that connection route height. Um, so that we set that to about 29 feet. So let's go up to that height, then go to this next little bitty area right there and hit that. Just a real quick spot, but not even, not even hardly a flight path. And then on to the last area there. And this one's a little crazy. Um, it's got all these odd angles in it. So it's just gonna fly a little pass, shut off for a second, go around the corner, fly another little pass, and just continue on from there. So this is our consecutive boundary spraying, spraying our spots. This is a true sea and spray technology. Use the Mavic to see it, use the Use a program, the Fix4D, to process it, and use the DJI Agris T50 to spray it. You don't need a fancy John Deere to do this. All right, uh, that's it here for spot spraying, guys, um, and using Fix4D. You know, it all starts with a mapping drone like the Mavic Multispectral, and then from there. It's a really simple program and you can do it all on the edge of the field right here when we're standing here looking at weeds that need to be sprayed. We don't have to go back to the office to do processing. Everything happens right here in the field. If you guys would like to see more of this, if like to get your hands on a T50, T25, T20P, or even T40, you can do the same thing with all these drones. We have dealers nationwide and we can get you set up. Thanks.